Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how the X-rays were discovered and who was the person behind the discovery of X-rays. X-rays was discovered by a German mechanical engineer and physicist in the year 1895. So his name is Wilhelm Conrad Rongen. W. C. Rongen was born on 27th March 1845 and he discovered X-rays on the 8th of November 1895 for which he received Nobel Prize in 1901. In honor of Rongen's accomplishment, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry that is IUPAC in the year 2004 named a new element 111 as Rongenium, which is a radioactive element with multiple unstable isotopes. Also, the unit of measurement Rongen was also named after him. Now, how the X-rays were discovered? X-rays was discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Rongent, professor of physics in Wurzburg, Bavaria. He conducted an experiment or he was conducting a research on cathode rays with the help of Crookes tube, which led to the accidental discovery of X-rays. Rongen was conducting experiment with the help of Crookes tube, which was a glass tube that gives off fluorescent light when a high voltage current is passed through it. He noticed that the beam turned a screen 9 feet away into a greenish fluorescent color despite the tube being shielded by heavy black cardboard. Rongen concluded that he was dealing with a new kind of ray, one that cast the shadow of a solid object when passed through an opaque covering from its point of origin. Not knowing what kind of ray he was dealing with, he called him X-rays and the name stuck. Now let's see how Rongen conducted the experiment and how he detected the unknown radiation which is popularly known as X-ray. In the year 1895, Wilhelm Conrad Rongen conducted an experiment on Koch's tube. So this is the Koch's tube. It has a positive anode, negative cathode, which is connected to an electric supply. Then he covered this tube with the help of a black paper and he kept a barium platinum cyanide screen about 9 feet away from the tube. Now the cathode was heated to a high temperature. When cathode is heated to a high temperature, through the process of thermionic emission, the atoms get ejected from this filament and come to the surface. Now, these electrons are accelerated towards anode with the help of electric current. Now, the electrons move towards the positive anode. These electrons strike the walls of the glass tube and causes fluorescence. Now, a vacuum condition is maintained inside this tube in order to avoid the collision of electrons with any uh, uh, other particles or air. Even after keeping the black, uh, black paper or even after covering the tube with black paper, Rongen observed fluorescence in barium platinum cyanide screen, which led him to think that there is an, another mysterious rays because of which the fluorescence has occurred and these rays is capable to pass through the black paper. So this was the experiment that was done by Rongen. From the experiments, Rongen discovered the presence of an unknown ray which he named as X-ray. To test his discovery, Rongen made an X-ray image of his wife Bertha's hand clearly showing the bones of her hand and a pretty hefty wedding ring. Later on, Rongen published a paper about his discovery known as On a New Kind of Race. He also made a presentation before the Wurzburg Medical Society and x-rayed the hand of a prominent anatomist. So from this image, you can see that this was the first x-ray that was taken by Rongen and the x-ray was his wife's hand. So in the x-ray, you can see the wedding ring as well as the bones of his wife's hand. So this x-ray is known as Rongenogram, which is the first x-ray. Now, Rongen discovered x-rays on 8th November. So this day is celebrated worldwide as World Radiology Day. So this day is known as Rongen's Day in order to commemorate 
The Discovery of X-rays by Wilhelm Conrad Rangen. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and share. Thank you.